Hello mommies and welcome back to another episode of Ask Me Doctor. I'm your host Aliza Sara and today we'll be discussing a very interesting topic that I believe are in the minds of many parents. How much hidden sugar is there in our kids' food and drinks? Joining us for discussion today is Dr. Joanne Raja from First Step Child Specialist Clinic. So thank you so much for joining us today. You're most welcome. Thank you for having me. Indeed, the word sugar can evoke concerns for many parents and I hope I can share some helpful information today. Yes, I'm so excited. So let's get to it then. Sure. So going to my first question, how much sugar is recommended for children? Mm, that's a very good question. So children between 2 to 18 years of age should have less than 25 grams of added sugar and that is equivalent to 6 teaspoons a day. 6 teaspoons? Yes, and of course children younger than 2 years should have no sugar at all. This is because their calorie needs are lower mm -hmm. and taking sugar-laden foods and drinks will fill them up, leaving less room for nutrient-dense foods. Right, right. Okay, so going to my second question, can sugar be addictive to a young child? The answer would be definitely yes. So kids develop their preferences for taste very early in life. So those who are exposed to sweet foods or beverages at a young age often grow up to have a sweet tooth. Right. And you know what? They may be dependent on these foods for the rest of their lives. Wow. Therefore, limiting added sugars and introducing more natural foods as young as possible can help a child to have less preference to sweet food and opt for healthier foods. Right, right. So the idea is always to kind of train them early to enjoy healthy food so Definitely. that they don't become sweet tooth, right? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so I'm very careful with what I give to my child, but I've heard there are many hidden sugars in food and drinks. So what are these hidden sugars and where do we find them? I think that's a really good question. So hidden sugars are present in various types of foods and drinks, mm -hmm. often unknown to parents or children when consuming them. Now, there are many foods that are marketed as healthy for children and families, but unfortunately, that's not 100% true. Okay, examples of foods and drinks with hidden sugar includes 100% juice drinks. Really? Yes. Okay. Breads and cereals. Right. Yogurts and also flavoured drinks. Wow. Most breakfast foods such as cereals, pancakes, waffles, croissant, and the list goes on. Mm -hmm. Sauces and condiments, for example, ketchup. Alright, adding into that list, I do have some mom friends who actually shared with me that some formula milk actually contains hidden sugar. So will you have anything to share about that? I think that's a really good point because a lot of parents out there mm -hmm. are unaware that some formula milk may contain hidden sugars. Right. And of course, we know that excessive consumption of these sugars can potentially affect a child's growth negatively. Right. So I think it's very important for all parents to read the ingredient list carefully and choose formula milks with no added sugars to ensure the best nutrition for your little ones. Mm -hmm. Now, sugar can hide under different names, so it's very important to familiarize yourself with alternative names such as words that end in O's, sucrose, fructose, dextrose, and also maltose. All right. And we also have those that is written as concentrates. Concentrates. Yeah. The next would be maltodextrin. Maltodextrin, okay. How is it related to sugar? <laughs> yeah, so it's just another alternative name for sugar basically. So this right. is one that you should look out for because Keep it's quite common. Mind. Yeah. <laughs> maltodextrin. <laughs> Anything else? So syrups such as malt syrup, brown rice syrup, maple syrup. Right. Juices, for example, evaporated cane juice or even fruit juice. And did you know there are over 56 different names for sugars listed on food labels? Wow, 56? Yes. <laughs> My goodness, I can't even remember half of it or even the first 10. <laughs> but I guess I can remember maltodextrin. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to you. So that's a really interesting point, Doctor. It's crazy how sugars can sneak around with all these fancy names on food labels. So here's my next question for you. What are the effects of excessive sugars in a child? Sure. So studies have shown that excessive sugar may lead to many serious health issues and of course put a child at risk mm -hmm. for a certain few things. So first is learning difficulty. Sugar can cause a rapid rise in adrenaline, making children more active and playful and thus they have difficulty to concentrate or even remember things. 
Right. <laughs> yeah. So children's bodies also they do not have much capacity to process excessive sugar. So mm -hmm. over time, these sugars will become extra calories, which right. turn into fat, leading to obesity. I see. So yeah. that's how it works. <laughs> yeah. And that's not all. Foods with high sugar content, like soft drinks and snacks, are digested very quickly. So the body will signal feelings of fullness to the brain, causing children to lose their appetite for normal meals. Which right. means they may miss out on getting their needed nutrients. Correct, correct. Yeah. You know, thank you so much for elaborating. Is yeah. there anything else that I should keep Definitely. in Definitely. So, blood sugar spikes can occur when children consume too much of sugar. Mm -hmm. And over time, the body may become insulin resistant and this leads to your type 2 diabetes. Wow, kids yeah. can actually get diabetes as well? Yes, they can if they consume excessive sugar. And the last but not least, when kids consume too much sugar, the harmful bacteria in the mouth will soften the tooth's enamel and put your child at a greater risk of tooth decay. Oh gosh, so many things to worry about as a parent. <laughs> Okay, so um, please share with us some tips on how to avoid the sneaky hidden sugars in our kids' daily meals. Sure, so I think parents can take several steps to reduce hidden sugar or reduce the amount of sugar in their children's diet. Mm -hmm. So it's really very important for parents to read food labels and always look for items with low or no added sugar. So remember we talk about the different names for sugar? Yes, I only, need, I only remember maltodextrin. <laughs> but you need to start memorizing them tonight. <laughs> okay, okay, sure. We need sure. to identify them so that we can avoid them. Alright. Next is to choose whole unprocessed foods as much as possible. So fresh fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains and pure dairy products mm -hmm. without any added sugars. So this will form a good foundation for a healthy diet for our kids. Right, right. Anything else? Of course, limit sugary beverages and encourage children to drink water or natural fruit-infused water or natural unsweetened milk. Um, so try to avoid all sugary drinks like soda, fruit juices and also flavoured beverages. Right, right. Okay, water is still the best option for kids, Definitely. right? Definitely. <laughs> Next is to make homemade meals and snacks. Mm -hmm. All of us parents are so busy nowadays, but preparing food and drinks at home allows us to control whatever ingredients that we're putting in. So by cooking from scratch, we can actually minimise the use of added sugars and opt for healthier substitutes whenever needed. Yeah, that's so true. I try my best to actually, you know, provide home-cooked meals for my kids so that I'm aware with what is what they're consuming. That's great. Yes. Now, of course, look for low or no sugar alternatives for common food items. Mm -hmm. For example, you can choose unsweetened cereals or add natural sweeteners like fresh fruits. Yeah. And for your kids' daily meal intake, you can choose pure cow's milk instead. I see. Anything else? Of course, I think educating and involving children is very important. Teach them the importance of balanced nutrition and the potential of health effects from eating too much sugar. Children nowadays, they are very smart, yeah, so they true, do understand. True. Involve children in grocery shopping and cooking to help them understand and appreciate healthier food choices. Right. Last but not least, be a good role model. <laughs> children often mimic their parents' behaviour and food choices. Yes. So let's set a good example by consuming a balanced diet with limited added sugars ourselves. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's not about completely eliminating all sugars, but rather reducing the overall intake of added sugars. Right. So I think by following the tips that I've just mentioned, parents can help their children develop healthier eating habits and reduce their exposure to hidden sugars. Yes, thank you so much for the tips. All right, thank you so much Dr. Joanne for your valuable answers to our questions. I trust our moms are now more knowledgeable and equipped to fight against those sneaky hidden sugars found in food and drinks that can be detrimental to our kids' growth and development. And thank you mommies for staying with us on the show. This episode is brought to you by motherhood.com.my and From Fresh, a truly honest milk that contains only necessities with no hidden ingredients. Farm Fresh Grow UHD formulated milk is made with natural cow's milk that's packed with DHA algae, inulin fiber, natural source of calcium and vitamin D for optimum growth, protein and fortified with 22 added vitamins and minerals with no maltodextrin, no calcium carbonate and no vegetable oil. With Farm Fresh Grow, we promise a growing up milk that's filled with goodness and nothing else. So your child gets the nutrition they need to grow up happily and healthy. 
Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time. I'm Aliza Sara. And I'm Dr. Joanne Raja. And this is motherhood.com.my. Bye! Bye. Hey, hold on a second. Remember to join our contest and stand a chance to win amazing prizes from Farm Fresh Grow. It's super easy to enter, just follow these steps. Step 1. Answer this simple question. Tell us one alternative name for hidden sugars. Step 2. Tag three of your friends and share this post. And last but not least, make sure your account is set to public so we can check out your fantastic submissions. Best of luck and see you around. Bye!